so it's time for another vlog update. Um, I'm gonna say at the beginning, excuse my hair and makeup. I've had trials today for my hair and makeup for my graduation ball, which is in two weeks time. So I look a little bit overdressed for the time of day um, uh, with my hair and makeup, but it's, it's for a genuine reason. So I don't just walk around like this on a day to day basis. All right, so I'm now four days into my puree stage of my diet. Um, and I'm just over two weeks out of surgery and things are going really well. The pureed diet has, I found it quite hard if I'm honest, because most of the foods that I like, I wouldn't like them pureed and it's okay for, um, you know, for breakfast I'm having Weetabix and obviously that's absolutely fine, I don't need to puree that. For lunch I've been having a sweet potato mash with blended beans and some cheese. Um, I saw somebody had recommended this on one of the groups that I follow for people who have had this surgery and I really enjoy that, that's a really good lunch. Um, but I haven't pureed the mash, I've just made it very smooth with, um, with milk and plenty of milk and butter. So this, the sweet potato mash isn't pureed, but it is very smooth. Um, the beans, I did puree them, but since I've started the diet, I have had a jacket potato. I went out for a meal with my friends um, earlier on in the week, and I have actually had a jacket potato in a restaurant, and I found that I can mash it up, um, and it's exactly the same as my blended uh, lunch. So I have been struggling really to find the motivation to puree everything. Um, what I've found is that with my breakfast and lunch it's okay because I've already pre-done those and that's fine but my dinner I'm not really tending to puree it I'm just mashing it up on my plate um, so that it's a texture that I can have and I, it's been going down absolutely fine um, and I've had various meals now. I've had salmon with vegetables and mash with parsley sauce. That's nice. Um, today I had chili con carne, which I'm, you know, I make that myself. It's homemade, so it's not got any additives or anything it shouldn't have in it. Um, but I'm not gonna. I can't blend it because my blender is huge, and the amount that I need to blend would be such a waste to blend a large amount when I can only have two two tablespoons of food. So I I haven't pureed it, but I am just chewing it, you know, to the point that it's it's smooth, and it's going down okay. I've not had any problems. I'm sure my dietitian isn't going to be very happy with me, but I can't force myself to blend things that will be horrible. I won't want to eat it, and I need to eat three times a day, and that alone is hard at the minute when I can only have such a small amount. So yeah it's it's tough but so there's I'm a couple there. of things that i wanted to talk about this week so i've in my first couple of days when i was first starting to have food um i did experience something which is called the foamies and the foamies is where you eat too much or you eat too quickly and the food goes down and it gets sort of stuck just above my stomach at the bottom of my esophagus and um it, it sort of it mixes with my fluids from my stomach and turns it to foam and then I throw it up and um, I'm then, you know, it's a lot of pain in my chest. I also get pain in my back because of how how painful it really is. So in between my shoulders, it's, it's really painful and it's not a nice thing to get. Um, but I really have found that it's so random. I can get it from anything and then I can eat something exactly the same the next day and I won't get it. So... Uh, I think it's just a learning curve really with my with the pureed stage of the diet. I'm hoping that it'll pass. Um, but I've had that twice this week and it's not pleasant. I'm hoping that um, it'll start to ease off. But uh, to be honest, it's only lasted, you know, a few minutes. It's not happened for hours. I've seen posts from people saying that they've been ill for hours after this has happened. I haven't had that. Um, and I'm hoping that I don't because I do not fancy having that for a couple this of hours. This week I've also experienced something else new which has been something called soft symptoms. So what I've found is that I get full very quickly obviously because my stomach is so small and I only need one or two um, tablespoons of food. Obviously I have it in smaller bits so I'll, I'll eat for a little while. But what I've found is that when I'm full I can't always tell that I'm full by um, 
by actually feeling full in my stomach but what happens is I'll start to sneeze which is really random but it's actually a really good indicator that I'm full and I'm told that that's because there's a, a, a nerve or a, um, you know something that runs along the top of my stomach so when I'm full now it gets irritated and it causes me to sneeze so that's really helpful because I don't actually know when I'm full and you know the amount that I'm eating isn't a lot and it's hard to keep track sometimes of when I should stop eating because um, obviously for for breakfast half a Weetabix I can put in a bowl but for dinner when I'm just serving it up into a bowl I only put a tiny portion but it can be quite hard to keep track of how much I've eaten so the sneezing is a really good indicator actually and it's uh, it's helped me out so something else that happened this week which isn't it's not a good thing um, and it was very very uncomfortable is that I got an impacted bowel and uh, my team have been keeping a really close eye on me about obviously going to the toilet after this kind of surgery. Um, it isn't as frequent because I've not got any food in my body for my body to digest to pass through. Um, but I should be going to the toilet every four to five days. I'm sure I've said this in a previous vlog, uh, which I was doing and I wasn't having any problems. Then uh, about four days before I did go to the toilet, but it was it was way more loose than normal. And I didn't think anything of it because at least I'd been. Um, but then a few days later, I was in agony with an impacted bowel. And I had to have suppositories and laxatives from the GP. And um, it was awful. I've, I've never known pain like it. You know, I was absolutely crying in agony. And I, I've been now given laxatives to take every day. And I'm to be honest, I'm really struggling with that because I can't take tablets it's more liquid and it tastes absolutely disgusting and I know the pain isn't worth, you know, I'm I'm better off drinking it. So I'm trying to force myself, but it's so hard when things these things taste so horrible. You have to force yourself to drink it and there's no alternative. Um so that's been a bit of a struggle really. I'm I'm hoping that I I, mean, I haven't been as well since and I'm tempted even though I don't feel like I need to go to use a suppository just so that it doesn't get to the stage that it was again um and I don't want to have to keep doing that uh it's bad for my body and it's you know I need to be able to go myself and it's it's graphic and I'm sorry that I've had to talk about it but this is one of the real life struggles that I'm having now with with this surgery so hopefully things will improve and I won't get that again because I do not want to go through that again um but yeah things are okay at the moment and hopefully they'll so the last that thing that I wanted to tell you was that uh this week I went swimming for the first time uh, I wasn't able to go while I was on my liver reduction diet on a regular basis because I didn't have the calories to to justify exercising um so I haven't been swimming properly for five weeks so I went this week I didn't go swimming laps I went with my daughter and we just did sort of a general you know leisurely swim for an hour and I really enjoyed it and uh, I, I'm i glad that I could go back to swimming it was it's you know I'm just I'm so bored of being at home and I really miss exercising because it's something that I really enjoyed so to be able to get back into that again is good I'm going to start building that up again uh, now that I can but obviously my calorie intake is still really low at the moment so I can't do too much um, but it's not going to uh, go up by too much more I don't think so I am going to start introducing more exercise back into my routine and I feel absolutely fine. I know I'm only two weeks out of surgery but I, f I feel back to my normal self. I don't feel tired or exhausted or anything like that so I just think it's time to start building back up my routine and my dietitian is happy for me to do that. Uh, she advised that I could go swimming as long as my wounds were healed which they are. Um, they were all scabbed up and the scabs have started coming off them already so um she says that that's absolutely fine to go swimming and i and as i said i really enjoyed it and that, that's something i will so do I haven't again i got an update on my weight um what i found was that i was getting quite obsessive with weighing myself and i was weighing myself every single day and if i wasn't losing anything then i was getting really really disappointed with my lack of progress and i found that last week i was weighing myself every day and even though i lost five pounds in a week which is really good um, I didn't lose anything for three days and I, and I just felt really disappointed so even though I'd lost five pounds I was disappointed which is ridiculous so I've 
stopped weighing myself every day. I've asked my partner to hide my scales and I'm only gonna weigh myself on a Monday. So today it's Saturday. So I haven't got an update on my weight at the moment, but on my next post, I will put an update. Um, so that's it really, that's all for, for this vlog. Uh, I'll do another one next week. I'll still be on my pureed stage, although it's not really a pureed stage. It's more like a mashable slash pureed stage. Um, and we'll see how it's going and I'll have an update. Hopefully I'll take some update pictures as well. Um, because I don't think I've lost a lot of weight, but I think I've lost a few inches because my size 16 dress that I bought for my graduation ball, which I mentioned in a previous video, now fits me. And I can get it on and do it up and it fits. It's a little teeny bit tight, um, but I, I can get it on and I can do it up, which I couldn't do a couple of weeks ago. Um, so that's really positive. So I'm hoping that I've lost some inches and I will do some measurements take some pictures and they'll be on my next video. All right, thanks for watching.